forward to the gathering, Wonder Mojo Toys. This will be a quick video right here. You know, the firmament, the firmament is, firmament is like an umbrella, right, over what they call the flat earth, right? But really, it's the flat horizon. So we want to emphasize, right? He's been meditating on this enough, enough, you know? Some say, well, why do we focus on this so much, right, about the true shape? Right? What is the true shape of the earth? Why is this important? Well, this is very important for many reasons. You know, we had um, put this one together. This is Yishak here. This is Abraham here on the horizon, as it were. And of course, Jacob. You know, when we think about Jacob right here, right? This was based on a rhema word. And this was based on a, you know, a, a revelation word that was revealed to I and I. Now you can see, yes, this is the heavens. Now, we're looking at the heavens, and we can look at the scripture, and we'll get into that. Because some people say, oh, they'll try to call it like astrology or stargazing. And because some of them are still in, how can we say, um, a half original form of um, black Hebrewism. Well, yes, it's true that we are the ones lost now, found black, brown, and red sheep in the house of Israel. But they reject the sign and the seal mind of the King of Kings Christ. Right, you know, they re we reject that sign and that seal. But we was looking at this, and you can see that it's like an umbrella, right? So the firmament is like an umbrella. You over that? I was, I was thinking about this traditional use of umbrella. I was looking for some pics and everything. We're gonna get a fuller full, you know, on that. But this is just kind of a basic right here. Look at the firmament, right? This is the firmament, like an umbrella. And the more and the more that we look at different, um, different pics and everything like that, the more and more we basically can see that even for our own eyes, especially for our own eyes. We, we've seen it over the years. And this is one thing we like to, well, apologize first of all to Abba Father. May Abba Father you know, to forgive I and I for the times I would say like, and this is based on, you know, listening to men and people that say that the sun does not rise. You know, they say the sun doesn't rise or set. That was just how men saw it from their human perspective. But the earth is a ball, right? But the earth uh, allegedly is a ball spinning around and everything like that. And I, you know, the more and more as we get into this and really see that this is the truth right in front of our face. And because we don't want to recognize, right? They said that the serpent, that old dragon, had deceived, right, had deceived um, the whole world and all nations have been deceived into this globe, this global, right, Baal, Baal, like Baal, like Baalim, globalim, right, they said globalism, it's Baal and Baal all over, there's nothing new under the what, under the who, under the sun, right, so as we began to start to recognize the truth and really accept it, you know what I mean? Because sometimes you will hear the truth and you'd be like, yeah, but you don't want to sound crazy, so forth and so on. And then you'll be in this like kind of frozen psychological state. You know it's true, but you don't want to say anything because you wait for everybody else to get it. You know what I mean? Hey, sometimes we have to be a fool for Moshiach's sake. We say, oh, you're just rambling. Rastas are just rambling. Don't know what they're talking about. Nah, we know, right? We know what we worship, right? You know what I mean? It's y'all. That don't know what you're worshiping because many ones even so-called in the real truth are still saying the earth is a ball and everything well, how do we know that you understand it's a flat horizon